In this video, uh, again, the radio receiver from 14 up to 18 megahertz. And I've made the beat frequency oscillator, and it's here. And I think it isn't very stable, stable anyway. I want to show uh, what I've done. I want to show the schematic in a later video. But now it's all about uh, fine tuning that beat frequency oscillator to the IF filter frequency, etc. etc. At the moment, I'm receiving a Morse station via the indoor antenna. Anyway, I want to show what I'm doing. You hear two Morse stations. But the fact that the frequency changes from somewhat higher to somewhat lower, that's not good. It has to stay the same because the Morse frequency is also constant, sent out by a single sideband radio, uh, sorry, uh, transmitter. Anyway, that has to do with the way I've built the BFO. Perhaps I'm going to make another circuit anyway. And when I tune that beat frequency oscillator, you hear on the background the other Morse radio station a sent back. And when I tune the beat frequency oscillator somewhat, I have to wait. Here you hear what happens. And this means that the beat, the beat frequency oscillator doesn't cover the complete range. So the tone has to be uh, from a lower frequency. When I change the frequency from the beat oscillator. It's too limited. So you can uh, tweak that by uh, bridging, bridging the coil that you use in your beat frequency oscillator with another capacitor in the first experiment, 100 picofarad, to make the frequency uh, lower. So that you have, uh, you go, for instance, in my case, the IF uh, filter is 450 kilohertz, and the ideal situation is that the beat frequency oscillator goes from, say, uh, 4, 440, 445, up to approximately 460 uh, kilohertz. In that case, you, you will also hear a more deep tone when you tune the beat frequency oscillator in its frequency band. Anyway. And by the way, that has also to do with the local oscillator, and that's here now. And when you set that local oscillator to a somewhat higher or a somewhat lower frequency, that has an effect on the sound uh, that the beat frequency oscillator produces. The whole idea is with single sideband um, that you receive um, a radio signal and uh, to the IF amplifier here Another signal is um, sent that sends in a carrier because single sideband radio signals are without a carrier, a carrier wave. And we add that extra carrier wave in the beat frequency oscillator.